If you knew me in high school, no, you didn't. You didn't. 2009 to 2013, Ashley, who's that? We don't know her, I don't know her, you don't know her, none of us know her because she never existed. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to be talking about a fictional character that I once heard about, which is Ashley Forrest, 2009 to 2013, when she was in high school. No, but in all seriousness, today I'm talking about high school, I'm talking about how I was, who I was friends with, the people, and I'm gonna show some photos of me in high school and just kind of give some backstory and react to them. Since it's still Vlogmas and I have yet to put up much Christmas content, here we go, it's now a Christmas themed video. <laughs> okay, so who was I in high school? I went to high school in 2009 to 2013. So I started high school at a time where like social media hadn't popped off yet. A lot of people still didn't have cell phones, nobody had Instagram, nobody had Snapchat, nobody had anything. The only thing that we all collectively had, MSN, Facebook, and Twitter. MSN died out after 2010, I would say, is when people slowly stopped going on. So when I started high school, we didn't ask for numbers. We didn't ask, hey, what's your number? Hey, what's your Snapchat? Oh my God, what's your Instagram? What's your TikTok? We asked, what's your email? That's how it was. I don't know about you guys, but that's how it was in my school. We said, what is your email? So I can add you an MSN. After about a year, everybody slowly got cell phones. So we all started getting each other's phone numbers. I would say by the second semester of grade nine, probably less than a year actually. So my first cell phone was, oh my God, the sidekick. I had the sidekick, it was lime green and black. And nobody knew what it was, but all they ever said when they saw it was, oh, is that the phone from Zoe 101? And I was like, mm -hmm. Yes, bitch. So anyways, high school, I was like a pretty weird kid. I was very weird, very quiet, very shy. I did not talk to any boys and never had a relationship. Never kissed a boy all throughout high school. And I didn't break out of my shell until 2012 when I started like going to parties and having more fun. 2012 was a good year. That was when I was in grade 12, my last year of high school. So that was who I was. I had a few friends. I remember there was this really popular girl. Let me see if I have the picture, hold on. I had the picture, but I didn't feel like blurring everyone's face. So there was this really popular girl that I was friends with, I remember, and um, she was so mean to me. She was so mean to me, but I wanted to be her friend so bad. That was the thing with me. Like when I was in high school, I wanted to be liked so bad. I remember um, there was this one girl, both of these popular girls, I know this is not my astrology channel, so please let's not talk signs on here, but I do want to say both of the mean popular girls were Gemini's. There was this one that I remember she was so hot and cold with me. One day she was the sweetest person ever, the next day she was so mean. And one particular day I was in the drama class with my friends and we were like in the theater seats and I was sitting next to this girl. She was quiet like me so we got along, we talked, right? We were sitting next to each other just talking and then like the popular girl was like four rows down sitting by herself just like on her phone. And then she goes, Ashley. And I was like, yeah. She's like, come sit with me. And I was like, what do I do? Because I wanted to sit with her because I wanted to be cool because I was 15. But then I was also next to my friend. We weren't that close, but like she was nice to me. I was nice to her and we were quiet, but we weren't really talking. We were just sitting there comfortably next to each other quiet. So I looked to her like, and I was like, what do I do? Like, she's telling me to go sit with her. I have to go sit with her. Like, I can't just not. She's like, come, Ashley, come. And she, I felt so cool because she was asking me to sit with her. So I was like, okay. And I pick up my stuff and I sat with her and I left my friend alone. Mind you, we were not close at all. We just clung to each other because we were both quiet. But I left her alone to go sit with the popular girl and then I go sit with the popular girl and we talk for two to three minutes and then she gets up and goes and flirts with the guys at the bottom of the stage and now I'm sitting alone too. I was so mad. I was so mad. In my mind, I wasn't mad at her. I was mad at myself. I was like, damn Ashley, that's not like, what? What if someone did that to you? You're quiet and have social anxiety. Why are you? Anyway, so I never did any shit like that again. After that, I was just over all the popular kids. And I was like, these people ain't shit. Like these people suck them. So I stopped being a try hard. Up until that point, I was a try hard. Let me show you. Let me show you my high school self, okay? I want you guys to be able to put a face to me talking about my experience in high school. So we're gonna start it off with birth. And I'm gonna show you guys just quickly me as a kid. So this is me as a baby. I look like an alien. I don't know why I look like that. I look scary. Maybe that's me as a toddler. I was a little cutie patootie. 
I finally started looking normal. And then this one was my first day of school ever, 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 ever. We used to take a picture like this in the same spot every single year until like grade 11. And then my mom, I guess she's like, okay, they're grown now. And uh, we stopped, I, just one year we just stopped. But every single year we always took a picture there. And um, to this day, that's still the house I live in. I could take pictures there, but it's been renovated. Okay, high school me. All right, let's start with, oh God, okay. Okay, we'll start it off with, <laughs> You know that, you know, this This is the this is the smile you're about to see. <laughs> Something about the kids in like 2009, we were just all like holding our bangs. <laughs> it was so weird. Me with my chipped ass torn off nail polish, my bad bitch outfit, my boxy eyebrows, my chapped lips giving you Oh my god, guys, this outfit, I put this shit together and I was like, this is a fit, this is a fire fit. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna stun on all these toes, I'm gonna show everyone what's good. Look at me in my fire outfit, wow. And I left the house and I went to the park. I went to the park with my gladiator sandals, got sand all up in them, and I went with my little way too matchy matchy outfit. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what came over me. I stole my mom's necklace. I thought I was the baddest bitch around. I bought my Sprite and my hot rods. I think there's actually a hot rod in my hand. I'm pretty sure that's a hot rod in my hand. I put my headband on and I said, guys, it's fashion show time. Okay, so this one, me and my friend Becca, I'm not gonna do you dirty, Becca, don't worry. I won't put your pictures in. Me and my friend Becca, we wanted to do a photo shoot. So I did her makeup, I did my makeup. I probably cut her hair because I was always cutting her hair. We put on our prettiest outfits and we did a photo shoot outside. So we set up a blanket and we like held the blanket like this and then we took pictures and thought they were something. So I said, Becca, oh my God, wouldn't it be like so artistic if I like stand on the windowsill? <laughs> of my garage that's the window to my garage what if i stand on the windowsill to my garage can you take a picture of me she's like okay so i stood on the windowsill of my garage and i was like <laughs> my sister's husband who at the time was very new to the family like he literally was just getting introduced to us pulls up he pulls up to come see my sister and we're just like we're in our fucking fancy dresses taking pictures full face of makeup and he's like hi and i'm really like Hi, how are you? It was so awkward. And we just went to the backyard and we're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, this one, it was some girl's birthday that I didn't like and I went to her birthday and I thought I looked so cute. I don't know what it was, but I would always, okay, my hair was relaxed at that point. I used to get my hair, was it was texturized, I think. So I had a few little waves. My mom didn't have time to straighten my hair. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just straighten the bangs so I can get the side bangs going on because you know, side bangs were everything in 2009. And then I did my hair curly, which I hated, but it was flat that day. So I was like, okay, fine. I put my little dress on and I went to her birthday party. These belts were so in, like the big wide, like mid stomach belts. Don't know why, they're atrocious. I don't know what in the 2010 is happening here with the smoothing of a Pixar, not Pixar, picnic. I, this was another photo shoot. I, for someone who looked like that, I was very obsessed with myself. We did a lot of photo shoots because I had this big ass king size blanket that I would just drape like a, like a backdrop and everybody would be like, can we do a photo shoot? Can we do a photo shoot? Can we do a photo shoot? And they'd be like, can I, can I come over? Let's do a photo shoot. And everybody would want to come to my house to do photo shoots. I swear, one of the popular girls that I was talking about in the beginning, she became friends with me just so she could come over and do a photo shoot and then she ditched my ass. Here's a picture of her and I right here. I'll blur her face out. You know who you are. If you ever see this, you were so mean to me in grade nine and 10 and it's totally fine. I don't care about it now. But I know you were just using my ass for a photo shoot and for me to pay for your nails. You never paid me back. This is another photo shoot. I said, Martha, let's go to the train tracks and do a photo shoot. And she said, okay, let's do it. So we left the house and we did another photo shoot. Yeah, I'll show you another picture from that shoot. We, we went to the train tracks and went crazy. There's probably about, I don't know, like 200 images in this, in this album. All these pictures are from Facebook, by the way. Like I have albums with like 90 photos that are just like one day. One day, 90 photos. And this was a thing that was done back then. Like you go out with your friends, somebody's bringing the digital camera, 
taking a hundred photos and then everybody's like, hey, have you posted the pics yet? Did you post the pics yet? Hey, when are you uploading the pics? And then you're like, wait for it. And then you upload the pics and you name it like fun times XD XD and then you put it on Facebook and then you tag every single friend on every single photo and you do it all again the next day. So I have about a hundred Facebook albums. Uh, none of them are eventful. They're all just like day in with the girlies, except I didn't name it that. I named it like, I love you bitch. Or like the name of the song we were listening to that night, like DJ Got Us Fallen In Love, part one. DJ Got Us Fallen In Love, part two. <laughs> okay, so this was another night. Um, <laughs> this is the most 2010 shit I've ever seen with the floral skirt. Guys, we did not plan that. The cardigans and the floral skirt. This was a night that we went to dinner. We went to like Jack Astor's or something and we all spent 20 bucks and didn't tip because we were kids. And we all wore our favorite floral skirts didn't plan it and thought we were the baddest bitches around. This was a self photo shoot in my room. I just wanted to show off my Justin Bieber poster collection because I thought it was so cool and that everybody would be jealous. I don't know why. I used to love that shirt. It was my first shirt from Forever 21 and I thought Forever 21 was the best store to ever exist. Oh my God, I forgot my room used to be purple to be honest. Oh, and that little whiteboard, all my friends used to sign it. All of them used to sign it. It's so weird, I wonder where that is now. <sighs> this one is a friend of mine that I had who actually got pregnant like a couple months after this. We reunited and then like two months later she got pregnant. We were 15. Um, she had the baby, we're no longer friends, but oh, there I am again with my photo shoot outfit and my gladiator sandals and my skinny little legs that I got made fun of for. Um, we went to dinner and we reconnected after 10 years of not seeing each other and we had fun and um, that was it. It was just like, she was like, oh my God, okay, I'm gonna get on the floor and you stand over me and like, and I was like, okay, let's do it. And then I went, <laughs> and then we thought it was so funny. We thought it was, there's like six pictures like this and then there's like eight of me on the floor and her like, and then we have like 10 more of us like sitting on top of cars and doing weird shit and it's just weird. Okay, this is when I started to like kind of like slowly glow up. Um, this is when I, I was so skinny, I was so small, holy shit, I was like a size double zero um, with my little coach bag. Okay, so we went to go stop Justin Bieber outside his hotel room, so I'm like, I need to look 10 out of 10 because if I see my man, that's it, we're getting married. So I need to make sure that I looked good. So this was like the best you ever saw me, ever, ever, ever in this era of my life. And this was like going towards the end of 2010. Okay, this glow up is starting to happen now. As you see, you know, I'm learning how to do a little bit of makeup. My brows are not as boxy because my sister said, Ashley, you need to go get your brows done. They're getting ridiculous. <laughs> so I started doing my brows and I still have the Justin Bieber face going on. As you can see the poster in the back, and um, yeah, I remember thinking this was the cutest picture ever. I sent it to Toronto's uh, hottest girls and they reposted it and it got zero likes. Uh, this is in 2010, I don't know what's happening here. I just like really liked my hair and I was like, let me put a watermelon on my head and it'll, it'll be so funny. <laughs> let me just put a watermelon on my head. It's gonna be so funny. <laughs> I don't know. So I had to chop off a bunch of my hair. My hair was like down to like my belly button and I had to cut it up to here. Oh my God, up to here, like it was so bad. It was so scraggly, it was not growing. I literally had to chop off inches on inches on inches. So this was like after my fresh cut and um, with my little Walmart, Miley Cyrus, BCBG, Max Azria shirt. I was starting to slowly glow up, but I still look like a kid. But you're gonna see like a jump, okay? You're gonna see a jump. This is one year later. I went to go see Diggy Simmons at Much Music and that's the Much Music VJ at the time. I went to go see Diggy Simmons and I was so excited and I was like, I need to go see my man. Because Diggy Simmons was the only black guy that I found attractive at that time because I was so like, I was just surrounded by white people for so long that all I ever wanted was a white boy. That's all I wanted and I wanted to like do my hair straight and look like a white girl. Not look like a white girl, but like look like a white girl. You know what I mean? So Diggy Simmons was the first black guy that I ever thought was fine and I was just like, oh my God, he's so cute because I knew him from Run's house and then he grew up and became a rapper and I was like, oh my God. So I went to go meet him at Match Music and um, it was like the best day ever. As you can see, all the girls there were going crazy over Diggy Simmons. He was a cutie, he looked like Michael B. Jordan. He's still cute. So I got my cutest outfit on and I went to go meet my man. Okay, then a year later, something changed. Suddenly I thought I was 
a bad bitch and I don't know what happened, but this happened. I got a fake gold chain. I started making my own shorts. I learned what crop tops are and beanies. I got a Samsung and I thought, who the fuck is this? I got my license. Do you see the way I'm trying to poke on my ass in this photo? My legs are all crossed and I'm like trying to poke it out. Look at my legs. You can tell what I'm doing. You literally can tell that I'm just trying to make my ass look bigger. And it wasn't working. I'm so skinny. To this day, I st I'm still very petite. So yeah, something came over me and I just thought like, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> and honestly, I mean, it wasn't a bad look for 2011. 2011, I think. Okay, next year, this is my graduating year. This is grade 12. I got a juicy sweater, I didn't know how to act. I wore this all the time and I made sure the little J was showing in all my photos, but my school, they didn't know what juicy was, unfortunately. I got my extensions, I got clip-in extensions. They were white girl extensions. They were brown, white, Caucasian hair. And I clipped that into my hair and I thought that it blended. It did not blend and that's what happened. I got my eyebrows done thin, I put my eyeliner on and I said, new Ashley, this is a new Ashley. And then I graduated and became an adult and turned into this. I did a little photo shoot outside of my balcony today and that's the photo I got out of it. And it's so cute, I love it. <sighs> Ashley in high school was, um, she was okay. She was fine, she was sad. She thought the world was out to get her. She had a best friend who was not compatible with her at all. And a lot of fights and drama came out of that friendship which stressed me the fuck out. But I mean, I, I survived, like high school, everything when you're in high school feels 100 times worse than it really is. I remember crying all the time. I literally had a tissue box on my nightstand at all times because I'd always break down and cry and think that the world was out to get me and my parents hated me and everybody liked my best friend better than me and that no boys wanted me and that I was ugly because I didn't have straight hair. And I just like thought everything was terrible back then when really it wasn't because I had no responsibilities at all. At all, I had no bills. I had no I had no bills. I saw this I saw this uh, TikTok that said, my biggest flex is that no one in high school can say they hooked up with me. And you know what? Same, 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 same. Once again, if you knew me in high school, no, you didn't. I don't know any of you anymore. <laughs> so that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed me. Um, just, I just hope you enjoyed it. I don't know. If you like videos like this, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow because Vlogmas is still going. How many days left are there? Oh my God, there's a whole week, wow. Okay, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye.